okay has going so you will not be able to use um, query selector in angular right i tried to do it with multiple ways it's not going to work right so the way to do that is now this is angular okay so it's going to be a bit tricky right so everything in angular is not straightforward right Okay, so the first thing you do is you need to bind the, well, you need to create a, it's called template uh, variable. Okay, so we call it my div. All right. So once you have my div installed, uh, once you have this thing, we need to somehow access it. All right. So the way to do that is you need to import a thing called view child and element reference. Then you need to create what's called a decorator. Add view child like this. Right, I think then like this. <sighs> Let me just double check. Hold on a sec. Yeah, so in here we are attaching view child to this thing here. So make sure it's the same name. Okay, now we're not done yet. Next thing you need to do is you need to create a variable in your name, right? And then do element reference on it. Element reference, okay? Like this. So now this thing here, you need to put this thing here so it stops complaining. Now this thing here, this thing here is your div, right? So the next thing is important, ng on init. So this is like a use effect hook uh, from React, but this is just mm, how to explain it. You have to look into, um, let me just real quick, um, Angular life cycle hooks. So there is eight of them, all right? So ng on init is kind of one of the first ones to load, right? So it, it will not work with this hook because the DOM is not loaded yet, all right? So you need to find a hook that will um, load the DOM, and this is this one here. It's called ng after view init, okay? Because you see what's going to happen if you put it in here, it will show you undefined because the DOM is not there yet, right? I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you. So normally the way you do it is once you have this setup done, to we, we're basically trying to put a um, string in here. So the way to do that is this, um, any name, which is this thing here, dot native element, right which is the object that's now inside of this thing and there inside this native element object you have your inner html so this kind of native object is like your standard uh, jquery or javascript query right so it's not going to work because um, native element you see it says undefined native element is undefined okay and the reason for that is because the DOM is not loaded yet. So what you need to do is you need to add after init. Make sure it implements it. The component implements it, right? Then you need to add ng the hook, right? Which is void. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, whoopsie. And now it's going to work. Now it's going to work because the DOM is now loaded, all right? So you see, now we can see it. I know what you're gonna be thinking. You're gonna be thinking, hey, let me try to do this, for example, um, ID equals, uh, I don't know, my ID. 
because that's the, that's that's what I thought as well. It doesn't work. I tried it already, right? My ID. Let's remove this. Right. Inner HTML. You see? Like in theory, in theory, like when you think about it, this should work because the DOM is loaded. But you see the way the um, the way Angular works with the DOM, it's like there is some kind of binding mumbo jumbo, and like you know, so it's it's not it's not like straightforward. Like in React, everything is easy, straightforward. It's simple JavaScript logic, and here it's like it's some kind of I don't know. It's like it's very strange. It's very strange. Right. I mean, you eventually figure it out, but it just, it's just, it's like a, um, it's called a Rube Goldberg machine. Have you ever seen one of those, right? Where everything is just like, you know, that's what Angular feels like when you work with Angular. After React, when you start working with Angular, this is what it, this is what it feels like, right? It's just like because you see, React basically was written by people who said, "Wait a minute, I don't need all this mumbo jumbo. I can just do it much simpler, right?" The same thing, and that's how React was kind of born. If you go through the history of React, so this is kind of like a very older version of React where there is a lot of extra steps you have to do to achieve the same effect. Now there are some benefits to Angular. Um, like you can sometimes you can sometimes achieve the same amount of code, same amount kind of um, same results with a lot less code. But overall it just feels like this thing. Overall, right. Take care.